we should create a humanitarian problem that will force Egypt and Turkey and Europe to absorb the Arabs as uh, 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 refugees. Israel's real aim is clear, is to empty the land of Palestinians. Marwan al Jordan's former foreign minister and once ambassador to both Washington and Tel Aviv, has long been involved in Arab-Israeli relations. Israel is obliterating all forms of life in Gaza, not just human life, but the infrastructure, the schools, the places of worship, uh, the hospitals, in a clear attempt to make Gaza uninhabitable so that Palestinians are forced to leave. Jordan has taken the lead in warning the world about the dangers of large-scale population transfers of Palestinians. I think on the first part of the question on the issues of refugees coming to Jordan, and I think I can quite strongly speak on behalf not only of Jordan as a nation, but of uh, our friends in Egypt, that is a red line, uh, because I think that is a plan by certain of the usual suspects to try and create de facto issues on the ground. No refugees in Jordan, no refugees in Egypt. A lot of people in the West uh, look at this uh, and say, how can people do not allow uh, Palestinians to get in? But in fact, this is a position coordinated with the Palestinians themselves, who have learned the lesson from 1948, who do not wish to leave. Uh, and so the, the decision to close the border is actually a decision not to allow Israel to solve the conflict at the Palestinians' expense uh, and drive Palestinians out of their land. Most UN member states, including Western powers, have expressed concerns for the fate of Gaza's 2.3 million people. They have publicly condemned Israeli politicians and leaders who call for the expulsion of the Palestinians. On January 28th, at least 10 Israeli cabinet ministers participated in a Resettle Gaza event in Jerusalem. Israeli National Security Minister Etamir Ben Gvir addressed a cheering crowd. <laughs> will be no Arabs in the Gaza Strip. They will go to Turkey, to Scotland, to Britain. I want them out of Gaza. And we'll use different methods. One of them is not to give them any humanitarian aid. So the countries of the world will have pity on them and take them. At one of the few entry points into Gaza, Israeli settlers storm aid convoys, preventing them from delivering food and medicine. <laughs> 